Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to another Warzone Academy video. The series dedicated to helping you become a better Warzone player through in-depth guides and gameplay. In our previous Academy video, we talked about the best settings that you can be using in-game, whether it's controller, keyboard and mouse, or your graphics settings most importantly to get max FPS and best colors in Warzone. And if you didn't know, I'm no longer using Nvidia filters, so you might want to check that out to get the max FPS. Well, today we are talking about the best jump spots and flanks, what you can be using to take care of those ratty campers who are normally either taking like aiming down at choke points or sitting up at high grounds. We have all the flanks to completely catch them by surprise. Now, today actually is the first video that we are starting the second channel, the Iceman Isaac Academy, where I review your gameplay, where I review pro gameplay, and I help you guys out with even more Academy content. So make sure to check out the pinned comment and check out the Iceman Isaac Academy. Our first video will be dropping there later today. But without further ado, if you guys enjoy the style of gameplay where I provide content, or if you enjoy the style of content where I provide value to you, make sure you drop a subscription and a like on today's video and let me know down in the comments what I should cover next. But without further ado, let's get into that first jump spot. All right, so one of the jump spots you can actually do now is inside of the gulag. It didn't exist in the OG gulag. You can climb up here and take a nasty head glitch and you can see across the entire gulag. You can just sit here and wait. You can even guard the flag. Now he's going to throw a flash and push. But you can shoot all through here. Easiest jump spot. Pretty much a guaranteed gulag win. But get ready for it. I think maybe two out of the three or at least one out of the three allows that gulag spot. But uh, get ready for it. A lot of people are going to start using that one. Okay, so the second jump spot is actually down here over in Boneyard. And I discovered this when I was in a tournament. Late game people love camping inside of these buildings. And down here, they're pretty much going to hold you at a choke point, most likely holding these stairs or holding this, you know, doorway. And it's really awkward to, like, clear out here and clear out here and clear all this out at once, right? So what you can actually do is you can go down these stairs, jump right here, and it's unique to this building, but you can actually jump in here, jump up here and take an angle that you wish, or jump through here and get a surprise. This flank actually won us a custom and a mini royale tournament. All right, so the third jump spot was actually here inside of Boneyard on the same building. And Aiden, you guys know Aiden, discovered this. He was kind of messing around in a warm-up and dis discovered you can jump here. And then you can actually jump inside of this window. Now, he was able to jump from here onto the roof. I can't make it happen. Even with this gun, max movement speed, I can't make it happen. But, at the very least, you can get in here into the second window. Flank as necessary and work your way up. A lot of times you're in building-to-building -building gunfights. And let's say you, like push them in here you get them stuck in this doorway you can hit that jump hit that jump Enemy and then like surprise them on the inside all right so this fourth jump spot is also over here in boneyard once again but it has to deal with this building right here we all see people camping up here all the time the only way you can get up is via the ladder or so we thought in a previous video i showed how you can round Enemy all soldier. the way around here Gas work your way soldier. over Or so rudely interrupted uh work your way all the way over to this red spot right here where you can peek into the window but that's a lot of exposure right there and you can get spot really easy well allman showed i think it was in the middle of a tournament that you can just jump up over here okay so you can jump up here aim for this ledge off to the right that's a pretty easy jump from there you can work up here and shoot an angle but it's a little risky and i'm not a big fan of it uh mainly because i want to get on that ledge right there just in case they have self revive or whatever it may be Enemy you've got to do a little jump to get to the other side of the red and then for some reason this one auto mantles me but this one doesn't so then you can get up here take your shots and get up here it definitely didn't take me 40 takes to do perfectly okay so the fifth jump spot and the very last one in boneyard is all the way down here you're likely very familiar with people camping inside of these buildings and it's very obnoxious to fight well, whether they're camping down low or they're camping up here, there's a few different options. One, you can take right here. But frankly, they're probably going to be looking at you through the windows, so it's going to be a little tough to take. Another option is taking right here. And once again, you're still kind of exposed while you're making these jumps. I don't think... Maybe you could. Yeah, you can work right here as well, so that might be a little bit safer. And then you can work through here. What I recently discovered, though, in our latest video, if you saw the massive sniper buff video, you can actually take it from here and then work your way up. you got to do a little kind of side jump and work your way around. And then you can come all the way up to the top, which is a really great high ground position if you're fighting up here. But then also, you can do the exact same thing where you either drop down and then drop through that side window like we just did, or 
you can even work your way. And it's a little tough for these sometimes because it wants to auto mantle you. But once you get it down, you can take it on. All right, so the sixth jump spot actually has to do with dealing with this second story and po uh, pool. A lot of people like to camp here, and I swear there used to be a way that you could jump from here and then get up here. I don't think it exists anymore. I haven't been able to, like, actually latch on. Even with max movement speed, tax sprint, I can't get up there. You can get up there with a vehicle, but without a vehicle, my chat actually showed me another way. Keep in mind, the, the building that people are camping in is right up here. People love to just post up, prone down. It happens to me all the time. But there's a way that you can get up without that choke point of a stair. You come up here. You side jump on. You back up a little bit. And this is one of those where you need auto tax sprint. But you just sprint. Jump, and boom, you're in. Now, keep in mind, you probably need auto attack sprint for this one, and you need to make sure you back up. That is key to this, to making it consistently. But now I'm getting it every single time. Enemy UAV A lot of these jump spots, if you just face directly forward, it will auto mantle you over. It looks like this one's a little bit more kind to us, though. But if you guys constantly find yourself auto mantling over railings, if you approach left to right or right to left, that oftentimes prevents you from mantling all the way over. Okay, so the seventh jump spot is actually here by these new double peach buildings. I say new, but they've been here for about three, four months. What you can do if you're on this building right here and you're fighting someone over here, instead of having to go in that awkward stairway where people love to camp, you can actually jump on top of either one of these. Gotta be careful because it can pull your chute. They might know. But then you can work your way up to the top and oftentimes find them camping right there looking down the stairway. Okay, so the eighth jump spot is actually one of my favorites across the map. Many people may have seen it, but you don't know how to perfectly execute it. So the way you get from here all the way from the summit radio tower, all the way to kill the campers. Because the only other way up there right now is through a helicopter or you're taking the graph, which is suicide. You can actually glide from here all the way there. What you need to do, you know, you can always remember this by doing the math yourself, is ping it. Moving. You'll see the ping is at let's call it 155 looking up at the top of my screen it is 155 take 155 and add 90 because we're going to snap and turn 90 off so then we take that that is 245 155 245 so we're going to jump here tax sprint jump and then turn to 245 and then just hold directly sideways and you're going to glide straight to air traffic control tower. It's tough. You got to trust it. It's a little bit easier if you have a weapon with like high movement speed. Like I probably should have jumped with my MP5. And then as you get closer, you can kind of correct back. And make sure you're on. But if you do too much like changes midair, you're definitely not going to hit it. And then as you can see, you can make it up here and kill all the campers. Stand by. It's the beginning of the game. It's first circle. Lodi hasn't even came yet. He's got a trophy, a claim. <laughs> Point proven, it works. Okay, so the ninth jump spot actually has to deal with this mansion right here. Now, I've shown you guys in the past that you can take this little, you know, moving truck, do a little jump out the back, vault up, allowing you to sprint up here and jump into any of these windows. Well, for the longest time, there wasn't a way to get into this window, and it's really been out of my cross-check. But recently in the map, they added this little box right here, which is all you need to get up and flank the people that love to camp this building. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to our number 10 jump spot. This was brought to you by actually a friend of mine named Hydracam. He's a TikToker. It's posted on his TikTok first. If you want to check all that stuff out, make sure to follow me and him in our TikToks linked in the description. But he discovered that you can actually get up to this building and all of these pe peach buildings. So this one here, this one here, this one here. There's others across the map. I think there are some over in, uh, in Promenade that you can also use this on. But all of these peach buildings... Moving. Have the exact same layout now you can't vault here you have to jump up and over so you jump up and over and then the best way to do it is to just keep running forward and then as soon as you feel your your body jump off to the left as soon as you feel your kind of your feet start to leave then you're going to jump and you're going to grab onto this ac unit right here once you're here 
you can actually vault up and kill people that are camping. It's Enemy incredibly perfect because so many people love to camp right here and hold this. So what you can do, right, maybe back up the stairs or you can probably be quick enough and just cut in here. And then they're just going to be hard focused because they think the only place you can go right here and then you can actually work your way up, hit the jump spot. I kind of rushed right there and uh, make your way all the way to the top. But ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our 10 jump spots. Probably our last jump spot video for Erdonsk. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, drop a like on it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I actually recorded this live over on Twitch. So if you want to be part of the community over here, make sure to join us over on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I will catch you all on the next one. <laughs> I just got shot at. <laughs>